How you doing, people? Mr. Mom, rolling it out to you on a Friday. Um, just wanted to make a quick video, guys. I'm going to be doing some acclimating in my uh, in the reef tank today because I did I got some new cleanup crew guys, um, some Nasira snails, however you pronounce them. Um, five of those guys, and then I got three crabs right there um, to go along with the uh, Astria snails. One of those little guys right there that I've already got rolling in here. Um, but I, like right now, I'm starting out as far as the acclimation process. With I'm just temperature acclimating them now. They're just floating in the bag from the fish store uh, in my tank. They've been in there uh, about 20, 25 minutes probably. So um, I'm going to make a DIY drip acclimator. It's not a big deal, guys, but I want to run through what I'm getting first. First off is you're going to need some airline tubing. Um, I gotta say real quick, guys, don't buy your airline tubing from like PetSmart or Petco or whatever your local fish store is. It's way too expensive, guys. This is actually for sprinkler system. I mean, it's quarter inch vinyl tubing, as you can see. Um, and I got 50 feet of it for like four bucks, and it's quality tubing, guys. So you're gonna need some tubing. That's important. Um, you're gonna need some um, quarter inch um, inline shutoff valves. Um, there's actually two of them in here, but that's what they look like, guys pretty self-explanatory you hook one you know I'm gonna hook it up and show you guys what's going on with it um, and then you're gonna need two buckets I got uh, like a one gallon bucket inside of a five gallon bucket and that's so you could put the fish in here um, let the slow drip acclimation happen in there and you have some space to overflow so you're not getting on your carpet so I'm gonna set this thing up guys um, that's basically all you're gonna need um, to get you started and I'm gonna show it set up and we're gonna do some drip acclimation guys so, uh, yeah, be right back. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. We're back. We're going to try and get through this as quick as possible. Here's the shutoff valve. Um, real simple, guys. You got one, one end is uh, the tubing going into the fish tank. Um, I would recommend using airline uh, tubing holders, actually, to secure this. I just use masking tape because um, I don't have any holders but uh, I actually tried to buy some but my Petco didn't have any of course and I want to apologize for this pump being in here guys I've upgraded and put you know put some better stuff in here but it is acting as a good holder for my tube anyway so you got one line going into your tank guys and then you got the other line coming off there going into your bucket um, you can see the drip rate right there Basically what I'm trying to get is to fill up this one gallon bucket inside the five gallon bucket um, within about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, hour, 20 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna drip acclimate for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Um, you know, the longer the better really. Um, invertebrates, you know, shrimps and not, yeah, shrimps even, shrimps, snails, crabs. Um, you know, the longer the better. You know, if you can, if you can get them you know, drip acclimated delicately, that's probably your best bet. So um, it's pretty simple. I keep the lid on there. And I think it's worth saying, guys, that this whole setup cost me less than 10 bucks, brand new at Home Depot. Um, I got 50 foot of airline tubing, which is <laughs> tons. And this is quality airline tubing, guys. It's not the, you know, cheap, uh, you know, light plastic stuff that, that, that you usually get at Petco or PetSmart. And then I bought, uh, I, don't, I bought four of these um, inline shutoff valves, um, and everything was under 10 bucks, guys. And that one gallon bucket I also got in there because I wanted to get a brand new clean bucket that had never seen any detergents or anything. So that's pretty important. I think that's a good drip rate, but with the shutoff valve, um, it's real easily adjustable, guys. Just start the siphon, and then uh, you know, with it on, you know, fully turned on, start the siphon, and then just back it off until you get the drip rate that you want. Um, pretty simple. I think it's also worth saying guys. You can already see my water line going down a little bit um, Let me go over here to the kitchen real quick, and I'll just show you my setup that I got temporarily until I move stuff um, I have another five gallon bucket. I got five gallon buckets everywhere guys. There's another one um, But as you can see I got uh, salt water already mixed already buffered ready to rock It's got a heater in there perfect temperature um, it's also got airline tubing just you know, I'm just blowing some air in there with an air stone. No big deal um, So that's already ready to go and I'm going to actually top off as we go because 
you know, it's okay. It's not gonna, it's, I, I don't want my tank level to get real low. I don't wanna have to turn off my protein skimmer and all that stuff. So um, I do have some salt water ready to go. Make sure if you're drip acclimating guys in, the, in a salt water tank that you're not, uh, that you don't top off with RO water. You have to top off with salt water because obviously it's salt water that you're, you're pulling out of there. And you also do not wanna pour um, the water from the bucket uh, back into your um, tank. Do ne never pour the water back in the, from the bucket back into your tank because it has the water in it from the pet store, um, obviously. So yeah, just remember that guys, make sure you have salt water around to top it off and I'm gonna do that actually right now. Um, so if you got any questions guys about the, the little DIY drip acclimation system, it works real well guys. I mean, it works real well. You can't beat it for the price. Don't go out and buy one. Make one for yourself guys. If you got any questions, hit me up on Fired Up Fish Tanks or just comment on my video. I always answer you back guys. I always answer you back. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Cutting it off. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Hope this tip helped you guys. Peace.